What's up guys, my name is Tyler. I'm an American expat currently living in rural Spain. Now typically I make videos about my international life, but today I want to talk about a uniquely life-changing domestic opportunity. Don't get too concerned about the term domestic. This is in no way, shape, or form your typical nine to five. So as the temperatures continue to drop and the snow begins to accumulate, maybe not where you live, but out west on the Rockies or out east in the Appalachians, I'm continually reminded of my time as a winter seasonal employee. For a little bit of backstory, I grew up in Central Texas, as my name tag says here. I'm not actually from Austin, but it's always been a good point of reference because no one's ever heard of Harker Heights. And the people that know Colleen know it for all the wrong reasons. Growing up, there was one thing that I absolutely loved, and that was going snowboarding. It wasn't a popular sport to take up as a, as a Texan kid, but that one week per year that we'd go, which was typically during spring break, was always the highlight of my year. I was never even good at snowboarding. It took me the better part of a decade to be able to make both turns properly. But I loved it, something about it, the atmosphere, being out in the mountains, that sense of excitement. I felt like an explorer going down the slopes, being able to choose my way through the forest or down through the trails. And I always knew that I wanted to live in a mountain setting. When it came time to go off to university, I didn't really have any interest in any one particular field of study, but I knew that I wanted to travel and I knew that I wanted to live in a different place. Because of out-of-state tuition and those additional fees, I chose to stay in Texas for my studies and I attended Texas Tech University, partially because it was further out west. I was there for two and a half years and during that time, I routinely took ski trips to the mountains on weekends. When I graduated school, I took a job in Denver, working in finance of all things. It was a really random job for me to take as I'd studied tourism in school, but it was the location that really drew me in. I worked on a big corporate campus, a newly constructed one with these really beautiful views of the Colorado Front Range. And I remember for the first few weeks, it was that view that kept me going. It was exciting. I loved looking at it. And I actually found myself looking forward to being at work just so I could gaze out at the mountains. But after a few weeks of brutality, taking these inbound calls, 80 to 100 a day, I was totally exhausted. And not only did those mountains begin to become, you know, a, a source of longing, something that I, I wanted to be doing instead, they actually sort of began to taunt me. Needless to say, I didn't last long at that job. And after just five full months, I left. It was that first winter where I was unemployed, living in a very expensive apartment in Denver, that I learned about my first opportunity in the ski industry. I applied online to a snowboard instructor position at Winter Park Resort, and to my surprise, I had a phone interview. Uh, I never submitted any sort of photo or video or any sort of proof that I could actually snowboard proficiently, and I was hired just a couple of days later. Now, foolishly, I didn't end up accepting that opportunity. I was scared at the time. There were too many unknowns and I was committed to this really expensive flat in the city. Now, it was a year later after having moved back home and going through a year of just a lot of questions and not really knowing what to do, a year of inaction really, that I again applied to work as a snowboard instructor, and this time I did accept the opportunity. This one was at Keystone Resort, which is a mountain resort about an hour and a half from the center of Denver. At this point, I knew that I would be moving on to Korea in late February, but it turned out to be this incredibly rewarding experience, and it changed the way I looked at work, it changed the way I looked at travel, and it changed the way I, I looked at the world really so since my time as a snowboard instructor back in what was it winter of 2018 i have done one other seasonal job also at keystone resort the following winter i found myself there again and i worked as a night operations maintenance person 
It was a pretty vague title and I had a wide range of duties. And while there were pros and cons to both positions, both the night maintenance and working as an instructor, they were both incredibly rewarding opportunities. Now when I think back to my days in university when I didn't really know what I was doing and I was studying tourism, I find it really hard to believe that I had no idea about these winter seasonal opportunities, which is why I'm making this video. Now maybe you're settled into a career and if so then this video is probably not for you. But if you're like me and you're open to new opportunities and you're looking for a bit of excitement or maybe you've recently graduated high school and you're trying to decide if university is the right way for you to go or what to study. Maybe you're in school now and you're not really sure about the things you're studying. Or maybe you've just graduated college and you're open to new opportunities. These are the people that I'm really focused on here and I have to say working a winter seasonal job is an excellent opportunity. Now, as I mentioned, I've worked both as a snowboard instructor, although I wasn't very good at the time, there's no better way to learn something than to teach it. And I've also worked a, a night maintenance hotel resort operations type position. But there are a ton of opportunities available on a seasonal basis. For example, you could work in the food and beverage department. You could work in a hotel, in a restaurant, as a server, a cook, a dishwasher. Maybe that's not the most appealing. You could do on-mountain operations. You could be a snowboard instructor. You could work mountain safety. You could work in the grooming department. Or you could be in charge of making snow. Not all that snow falls naturally. Other types of positions include marketing, content production. You could maybe even make videos like this and get paid. Just about any job you could think of in a normal capitalist economy exists in the winter seasonal industry. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. It's an amazing opportunity to try something without a long-term commitment. It's a way to save money. And no matter if you like the job or not, it is a guaranteed experience. And it's temporary. You don't have to stick with it. But if you love it, there's always a next season and I'll talk soon about summer opportunities. Now, if this sounds appealing to you, here are a couple of places you can look for these types of opportunities. The first one I'd like to mention is coolworks.com. I actually used this website to find my first summer seasonal job, but there are a plethora of winter opportunities on there as well. Coolworks.com, check it out. It's super easy to navigate. Another website I'd like to mention is veilresorts.com. Now, you might have heard of Vail, Colorado or Vail Resort, which is actually one ski resort in Colorado. It's a massive ski resort. And look, I actually worked there in the photography department. But Vail Resorts is not just one place. Vail Resorts is actually a large company which owns hundreds of resorts across the continent and actually in the world. But it's through vailresorts.com that you can find opportunities all over the States. On their website, you can navigate over to the jobs page and you can filter through the opportunities. As of now, there are over 2000 openings. Now, if you have a specific destination in mind, you can go to individual resort pages as well. For example, steamboatspringsjobs.com or winterparkjobs.com. These resorts are independently operated and they're not owned by the conglomerate Vail Resorts. So with these, you can apply directly to the individual resort. And I've done this as well, as I mentioned with my first winter park job opportunity. Hiring typically commences in late October, but it's not too late to find an opportunity. If you apply now to one of the over 2000 jobs available on billresorts.com, you can expect to have steady work into the spring, typically early to mid April. If you like the position, as I mentioned before, there are always summer opportunities, which usually begin in May. And if you're interested in this type of thing now, but you're not ready to take the leap, don't worry. You can take some time to think it over because there are always jobs that come available throughout the season. Now, this was a very broad introductory overview of a very complex and broad industry. And I totally intend to make more detailed videos about it soon. As always, if you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll be happy to address them on a personal basis. And remember, there's nothing like getting paid to enjoy a bluebird powder day.